All right, we're back. Um, box three. No, nothing else needs to be said. Let's just go continue cracking boxes and figuring out what kind of cards we get and uh, if we make it or break it. All right, break the bank, break the box, whatever it may be. Okay. All right, we don't need these things. Clear out my working table here. Elspeth is gonna draw some good luck for us, um, hopefully. All right, okay, pack one, nothing crazy, right? I noticed one of the packs was, uh, there's no pull tab or anything, no. Nope. Yeah, these are American made, so there's no pull tabs, okay. I noticed one of the, the packs, I felt like the bottom wasn't sealed properly or something, maybe I was just hallucinating, I don't know. Okay, started off, we have a foil land. We have our uh, special Temple of the Dragon Queen. That's actually just kind of neat looking, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Start off with the full art Zario, Archduke. A plus two mace and a skeleton. All right. Okay, let's get our pile slightly adjusted here. Okay, actually, you know what? Let me do this properly before we go. Let's give Zario a nice little sleeve. Protect that card up a little bit. All right, here we go. We got Zario again. It's uh, just the art card, not this, not the same. Uh, that's not a foil land, okay. All right, getting excited. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, wow, six, so that's a lot of cards that are rare. Okay, here. Wish, Dragon Turtle, Tarrasque, and uh, so that's three, and then um, Gloomstalker, all right. So that's another um, special frame Tarrasque. I don't think Tarrasque is a very good uh, mythic though. The Tarrasque has haste and ward 10 as long as it was cast, okay? So if you cast it, it has ward 10, which basically is hexproof, okay? Nice, 10, 10, haste, hexproof for nine, okay? And whenever Tarrasque attacks, fights target creature defending player controls okay so if you can cheat it out that's pretty good well i guess if you can't yeah no you know what if you hard cast it it's hex proof but if you don't hard cast it um at least you can fight something it's 10 10 it probably won't lose so that's always going to be good um don't fight those death touchers though you're going to lose okay zorn eye of the beholder wow look at that that's some serious eye of the beholder He's saying, man, if I look at you, you're gonna get minus 11, minus 11. You're, you, you're dead. I don't care if you're a god, you're dead. I mean, this is a god killer, if you think about it, right? Poop. All right, it's a little too expensive though. It's for, um, you know, for your standard play. I mean, it, you know, it's really funny. Um, honestly, it's a six cost removal for pretty much any creature, which is always good. The Vorpal Sword, um, pretty great. Animate dead. Animate dead. Is our um, list card. Funny, so we have two mythics of special frame, but we haven't hit a rare or a mythic of the normal frame yet. But we're about to change that, right? We have I, <laughs> normal Tarras. Too many Tarras, man. I, what is this like? I think I have like too many. Oh, here we go. Here's our Pokemon. So, so far, uh, opening a couple of these. Jump. Well, wow. um, opening a couple of these, we do have uh, one Pokemon uh, foils every. Um, box. So these are actually quite rare. Um, you know, not, they're more rare than, uh, they're more rare than like a couple of pack or whatever. So yeah, you're averaging about one per box. So this is like the, if you remember Time Star Master, this is like the, 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 the old school foils, etc. So, all right. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Dancing Sword, we have phase, uh, Fate's Reversal. Reverse our fate. Maybe we can reverse the fate of this box and stop giving me Tarrasque. Nobody needs more of that creature, right? All right, Island, this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that a black dragon? So, okay, cool. So, like I said, there are normal frame of these dragons. I was hoping, I was, yeah, I was hoping make sure that they don't just have, they don't appear only in this special frame. Den of the Bugger Bear, um, people like that card. It's a very aggressive, red aggro um, land. Probably just useful. Oh, um, yeah, these lands, I mean, they come in uh, untapped if you have two or more other lands, right? So, pretty neat. 
sorry, uh, these lands are, um, if you have two or more, they do come in tap. Otherwise, they come in untapped. So early game, uh, fairly good, fairly aggressive. All right, the Mimic. We have a Orcus, we have Dire Wolf, and uh, we have more wolves. Dire Wolf Prowler. Okay, there we go. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Drizit Duurjan, the uh, Moon Blessed Cleric. And that is that. Oh, we have a list card. But what is it? We don't know. We'll find out later. Here we go. All right, land. Uh, okay, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Westgate Regent, we have a Flame Skull and we have a Black Dragon, uh, full art, I see. So I guess the full arts can be uh, can also be foils in there. We have our list card, a Nightshade Peddler. Eh, eh, it's pretty much all we can get saved about that card. Okay. <clears throat> All oh, right, yeah, the dragon's full art looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how good they are. Uh, asset breath, one dragon, ETBs, target creature, and opponent controls gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. Okay, so pretty much a draft card, but not really playable in the formats. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. That was a weird looking card. Eight, okay. The full art dragon, we have a devour paladin. A devoted, devoted paladin. Okay, devour paladin. I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this pack. Here we go. We have a swamp. We have another evolving wild. So those are just cool looking. I will definitely be using those. All right. So we have triumphant adventurer. We have a spider queen, the loth spider queen. Um, ba Balefire liege, which is uh, other red creature gets plus one. You control get the white control. Oh, okay. So two-sided. Um, whenever you play a red spell, but if I leash three, three damage target player, ooh, that seems useful. Whenever you play a white spell, gain three life. Okay, so you, you lay this thing down, you protect it, and now it's, um, it's, it's being a lord to all your red, your red and uh, white creatures. But it's other, so it doesn't buff itself. Still pretty good, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, another adult gold dragon. Ooh, Grand, Ma Grand Master Flowers. This is a cool card. Uh, definitely a cool planeswalker. Um, it's in white as well, so, you know. Finally, something that is pretty strong in white, I would say. Um, yeah. So, like, okay, this pack. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Here we go, planes, red dragon. That's the, the four. I do believe that's everybody. Plus two, plus two mace, man. What a what a D and D uh, sounding card. Basically, it's a very D and D card. Yeah, flip. Okay, we have that. You have a token of a devil. Except it's kind of weird looking. He's not really like a normal devil. He's like a he's like a what they called um um you know like your um your horror devil. He's uh, he's like a devil of the drowned gods type of thing. I don't know what's going on with his weird looking tentacle beards. Um, yeah, he, he must think it's really cool though. So, Ooh. our sign card is the jello. Okay, I'll put it actually over here. Swamp, unicorn. Okay, here we go. Bag of holding. Secret door. Bard class, rare. Uh, another bard class. Um, I don't know why Wizards does this, where the collation just works this way. Uh, I guess, let's say you were looking, really looking for bar class, one pack, now you have two of them. So you have half of a playset within one pack. Uh, that could be really great or really crappy if you're not looking for bar class, right? And it's like, hey man, I didn't really want that card, and now you gave me two of them. Island, blink, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another Tasha's Hideous Laughter. A dragon fire, a crown of empires. Where's the scepter and the throne of empires? I guess you need all three to really make it work. Um, I wonder if all, th I, I know the scepter definitely was there. I, I forget if the throne was also one of the list cards. So maybe it's still there. Maybe you can get all three within the list and then you're, you're good to go, right? Eight, okay, we have a monk class. We have a grim bounty and ooh, wow, okay. 
Elsbeth Conquers Death. Honestly, not a bad card. Um, just kind of funny to see a card from last year or two years ago. Two years ago? When did Theros come out? Beyond Death. I don't know. Well, you, Elsbeth, you, you conquered death. Good job. Good work. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Wizard Spellbook. Cast a bunch of spells. Roll a bunch of dice. Okay, we have a foil, Eye of Venka, and a Archive Trap from Zendikar. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah. Archive Trap. Pretty neat. There's a foil, Eye of Venka. Actually, I guess this one. What is it? So confused. I guess I'll put it here. I don't know where to put it. Archive Trap. If an opponent search for his or her library this turn, right, just play it. Um, instant Speed Trap. Target opponent puts the top 13 cards of his library into his graveyard. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You want to search your library? How about you mill 13 uh, first? <laughs> okay. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Ooh, Mordecai. This is the other uh, Planeswalker. There's, I think, one, two, three. There's a Black Planeswalker, blue, green. Uh, is there a red one? I don't remember this is a red one. Dueling. Ra rapier. Harold's Horn. Too many of these, right? This is like our second one. Is there a red Planeswalker in this set? I forget. I don't think so. I know there's a green one. I know there's a black one. That's the spider. We've seen her many times. That's a blue one. There's a white one. So, yeah, maybe. Five. Eight. Okay, we have the Dragon Turtle in our special frame. We have a Dwarf and a Treasure. You know, I haven't seen a Treasure Cove. I really would like to see that land. Um, we also haven't just seen that many of the lands. So are we about three lands, three rare lands per uh, box? Is that about the rate we're looking for here? We're looking at. Okay. Frogma Frogmoth. And that's, a, that's one of those mini game cards. All right, here we go. Let's toss that on the side. We have our bard. We have a swamp. Um, we're looking at a troll. Planner ally. Okay. Feed rope. Here we go. Uh, oh, no, that's not the green. I thought this was the green planeswalker. Deadly dispute. And another fairy dragon. All right, here we go. Sharks, Islands, the Skeletons. Okay, Hall of the Storm Giants, Hand of Vecna, Chaos Chandler, and a Treasure. I'm sure there's some um, common on commons that are probably worth something. I honestly just haven't even looked at that list yet, so um, I know some of the rares, right, worth something, but I'm not really sure what common on common to look for in this set. Um, I do know that the um, that land, the, the dragon one, uh, Temple of the Dragon Queen, probably worth something. But otherwise, you know. Um, painter, okay, it's not like the other one. Instrument of the Bards, okay, Bull Strength, and a Dungeon card. Yeah, I mean, you do require Dungeon cards. So if you want to venture into Dungeon, let's say you, you open your PR kit. Oh, uh, I guess the PR kits all have Dungeon cards. Let's say you open a draft pack, right? You're drafting with your friends. You don't open a Dungeon how do you how do you venture into a dungeon? Do you have to borrow them from the shop? Do you hope your friends have dungeon cards they can lend to you? Is that how that works? Okay, we have a rare oh another foil Loth. Okay, um, cool I guess. Honestly, this Spider Queen is pretty good. Um, from my understanding, this card is pretty top notch neat. So yeah, I'll take more. I, I like it. I think. Spider Queens are pretty neat, for sure. All right, Plains Owl, the Owl Bear. He's a bear and owl. Five, six, you see Asmodeus makes some uh, deals with a demon, with the devil. He's a devil god, he can bind a contract to you. So yeah, get ready. Forest, Mimic, Fae. All right, Orb of Dragonkind, okay. Long Rest, foil. Um, yeah. I don't think this foil's worth that much, but um, yeah. It's a rare, it's a rare foil. It's there. Three packs left, let's do a quick check. I mean, I think we're good on uh, Mythics. This is already an eight Mythic box, so I, yeah, we're definitely good on Mythics. 
Um, we could do a little better on the rares, but honestly, if we're getting more mythics, it probably just means that it's taking up our rare slots. Okay. Here's an artist sign card. Uh, so this box is two. Blue Dragon. Six, seven, eight. The Long Rest Normal and the Speed and uh, Sotari Monk. Um, I guess he's a monk, but he's also a cleric. He's not really going to benefit from the monk class, though, right? I don't know. Swamp, Black Dragon. Six, seven, uh, okay. Ah, this card, the Black Staff of Water Deep. I think it's pretty cool. Paladin class, right? We've got the hammer going on here. We've got the tomb. All right, all right. Cool. So class cards are not that common, huh? All right, here we go. Another island, Pixies. Delver's Torch. What do we have? Cube. Jin Windseeker and Pegasus Stampede. Oh, look at that. From Exodus. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, it's not that good. Just so you, you got to sacrifice the land to uh, create a Pegasus token. Yeah, it, it's it's not that great. Um, <laughs> but it is from Exodus. So, you know, back then, uh, if you recall, um, you know, uh, I think Mark Rosewater said something in his podcast, like back then for design, they would, um, they definitely made plain, uh, they made spells way too powerful. Uh, they made creatures way too weak. So, all right, so that's that. Um, overall, I think not a bad box. We have uh, a foil, Loth, Spider Queen. Um, we have a couple like four. Oh, you know what? I was just saying, is there a, a red a Planeswalker? There we, there we do, Zario. So there's five colors of Planeswalker, one of every color. Of course, you know, your your spread. Um, not bad box, eight mythics, pretty good. Um, let's check our rares. I'm actually kind of curious how many lands we have, okay. Or class cards. Let's do this. Let's put the class cards on the side. We'll put the lands on the side and see how many of those we get. Okay. So like that. Spell book, class card. Hideout, class card. Um, yep. Drizzit. Okay. Land. Sword. Okay. So you get three classes and about two lands. Um, yeah, about right. It's about three lands and three classes, I guess, per box. So yeah, pretty interesting distribution. Excellent. All right, uh, that's about it for this video and I'll see you next time.